We have been experiencing a loss of shore and that's key to our economy because uh, we depend on tourism. Another big challenge that we are facing is uh, the floods. Whenever the water floods the street, it picks up oil, gas, debris and trash. And when the water recedes with all that, those elements into the water, and a lot of people swim and do a lot of recreational sports in the lagoon area. A lot of the communities that really are on the front lines of climate change in Puerto Rico have been mentioning that these extreme events, such as increased precipitation or increased drought, as well as increased intensity of storm surges, higher sea levels, are already impacting their daily lives, their daily businesses, um, and how they, they recreate in the estuary. Climate change is no longer something that we think about as something we should be pre preparing for in the future. It's something that is here now. Faced with climate change impacts on every front, from homes and businesses to the ecosystem and water quality, the San Juan Bay Estuary Program decided to conduct a much needed climate change vulnerability assessment. All the rigs were coming up like popcorn. You know, one there, another there. We, we didn't have a methodology to, to, to number all, all the risks that, that we were uh, uh, confronting with climate change. EPA's Being Prepared for Climate Change workbook guided them through the vulnerability assessment process. They used the workbook to identify the climate change risks, then analyze and prioritize them to develop an effective adaptation strategy. Through workshops, the San Juan Bay Estuary Program brought together residents, business owners, technical experts, environmental specialists, and local leaders to uncover all of the climate change risks. In our stakeholder consultation, we began collecting risks um, through our technical advisory committee. We really upped that by expanding out through community workshops and asking the communities and businesses what are they already experiencing, what are their concerns for the future. It's very important to bring everyone to the table. The workbook gives you a template of 100 risks to consider. We, in the end, had 167 risks. Then we do the risk evaluation and end with approximately 27 what is called wet risks. That are the risks that have a high probability of impact and high probability of consequence. Armed with this new understanding, the next step for the San Juan Bay Estuary Program is developing an action plan to set priorities and find ways to reduce or eliminate the climate change risks they identified in their vulnerability assessment. We're going to be able to present to the government, to the private sector and to the federal government too, what are the priorities that where we need the, the most in, to invest the money. A lot of the issues that climate change brings cannot be solved by one agency or one organization. It's important for estuary programs in particular, but any organization to consult with your partners um, to figure out who can do what, when they can do it, and what's going to be the most effective for the amount of resources that we have. While they develop their action plan, the San Juan Bay Estuary Program is not wasting any time. They're already implementing projects to reduce climate change risks, from planting red mangroves to prevent erosion, to getting residents involved in plantings and cleanups to raise awareness. Being prepared for climate change will bring them closer to their goal, to have a healthy, vibrant, and resilient San Juan, the city of waters. <laughs>